Hello students, welcome to this session of Remote Sensing NGIS. So till now we have discussed about in the previous session that is what is time series map and why GIS is historical and unique. Let's discuss that portion in detail with the reference of what is principle of GIS. Very important to know the principle, capabilities, tasks, why GIS is helpful in civil engineering field, what analysis, what type of analysis can it help us to sustain the various resources. I guess you are very much clear that with the help of this technology only, being a civil engineer or in the field of civil engineering, this technology help to do the sustainable management of resources. Right? Let's discuss that in detail now this is what in previous session we have also seen that it works on the spatially referenced data and non-spatial data that is spatial data and non-spatial data so here you can see what is the historical background how it is helpful to us what it is helpful to us now before going into the detail I would like to give you here an example of how AutoCAD data is converted into the GIS data, right? Previously or many years ago, we are making the plans, detailing of any the scheme or anything which is related to the civil engineering field, that is the water supply networks or the drainage networks or the planning or the pipeline supply system. Everything was made in AutoCAD. Right? But now this new technology has evolved in such a way that we can convert the AutoCAD data into the GIS data. How? So AutoCAD, we might have the AutoCAD files, right? Or we have the paper maps, or we have the old color maps also. So what we will do? We will scan that or we will do the digitization. What is digitization? Tracing process, right? We can do the tracing process in GIS software only. Similarly, we have the scanned maps and we can do the analysis or we can do the preparation of data. So first of all, as I have discussed, you always require the data preparation. So AutoCAD data is converted into GIS data with the help of tool, which is known as AutoCAD to GIS, CAD to GIS. If you search this tool in the search box of QGIS or ArcGIS, you will search this tool which is named as CAD to GIS. And this software will convert all CAD data extensions to the GIS supported extensions and GIS supported database. It will make one database folder and all data is saved into it. Because whenever you use the tool, they will ask you the output file folder name. Or else if you don't give, it will save in the C drive. You don't have to do like that. We have to save it in the folder according to the drive for we want. We never do the uh, saving of any data into the C drive. Right? So this is how it is possible and AutoCAD data is converted into the GIS data. So now very important question comes arises which type of data we have. We are going to see that in detail also what are the types of data. So AutoCAD is the one way. Next in the previous session I have also said MS Access that is a software means inbuilt software in your laptops and computers. Basically, you have used the PowerPoint, Word, Excel. And similarly, we are using such things that is known as MS Access. You don't have to download that. There is a Microsoft software is uh, inbuilt only in the Microsoft version only. Just go and double click and write on the start tab MS Access. You are going to find that. And in the MS Access, very particularly, we will make the data into it. How? Why and for what use we are making it is very important. 
right? MS Access basically develops the relationship of your data. What it is? If I say you have to make the database for RTO, right? Regional Transport Office. So you have to make the data for it. Now what we are going to see? RTO consists vehicle number, RC book, vehicle name, it is petrol, diesel, CNG or electric. This all information are available with the RTO of any vehicle. The owner vehicle owner name is also available. Right. Now I have to make it in a very technological manner using this MS Excel. How will I make it? You are going to make the very important primary key is RTO because we are going to make the data of it. Then with the RTO, what is linked? Vehicle number, vehicle type, right? Name of the vehicle. Okay. So these are the things which are related to the information of RTO. So similarly, with each and every important information, you have to mention it in such a way that it does not get overlapped, right? So this is all can be made in MS Access. You have to make the tables, right? You have used tables. You can make a table in Word, in PowerPoint. Similarly, you can make appropriate information of tables in MS Access. And that is directly linked with the GIS environment. And you can do all the analysis which is related to it. So this is database management system. AutoCAD, we can convert, right? And that is why GIS is very unique because it is always dealing with the locations, right? So this is how it is useful. Now, we are going to discuss in detail the principle of GIS, which is very important. What does it do? First of all, it captures the data, that is data capture, database management system, geographic analysis, and finally, we are going to prepare the results. Right? So the first thing is data capture, right? So data source are manually obtained or manually digitized and scanning of aerial photographs, satellite images, this can be used. Digital, existing digital maps are also helpful, right? So similarly, this is how data is prepared. We have various types of things. Remember always, when you are preparing a data for GIS environment, you should have always have what? Latitudes and longitudes. There is always a special reference to your data. Otherwise, it is not helpful to do any analysis in GIS, right? So this is how it is helpful. Now, talking to the way for the data, you might have a question that how we can make such a huge data for our country? Yes, it is a very difficult task to make such a huge large data for our country, right? So what can it be done? Government have such type of organizations who are preparing data and who can use the data, user can be anyone, but they are making a universal data for our country, right? So you all know Survey of India is the department who is making data, right? So they are preparing the data, they are doing the survey. Data we have in the paper-based form, in the photograph form, but what we want, we want the digital one. So it requires digitization manually, requires digitization it requires AutoCAD files to be converted into GIS file and then only you can use that so this is how it works on with the relation of data capture now we are going to see database management and update data security integration storage proper retrieval of data as and when required is the important question how it can be possible if you don't have good database management, you cannot do any good analysis. So database management is the important question, right? Retrieval of data. What do you understand by retrieval of data? As in when I have prepared data and I want the data out of my prepared data, it is called retrieval of data. It should not give us the wrong data. 
If I ask what is the population of Surat city, for example, it should blink me the total population of Surat city. But for that, I have I have to prepare the data. Right? Yes, student, there are various numbers of governmental websites which is valid, and they are preparing such special data which you can use for your analysis. So it is not every time that you have to make the data. Which type of data? Why we are making? What is the usefulness of it? We are going to see that in detail also, right? So this is what is principle of GIS with relation to the database management system and update. Data security is also the major question. When India or any other country is working for the defense, this technology is used, which is uh, which is space technology, which is very much useful in the defense sector also. We have an organization which is known as DRDO. Defense Research Organization, right? So they are using this technology and data security is the major question when we are in the field of defense. So it can also be done here in this technology and security can also be given to your data. Proper integration is also the major question. If it is not properly integrated, then we will not get the proper output, right? Now we are going to see the geographic analysis. The collected information is analyzed, interpreted, Qualitative and quantitative, what should be given? Means from your data, subjective analysis and objective analysis is very important. You should be knowing it both, subjective and objective. This is how it helps and that is what is known as geographic analysis. Right? So geographic analysis is important to collect the information, to analyze, to interpret. This is the major question, what you have to do in the analysis. Part, right and more the analysis more will be the good decision making support system it will work on if analysis is not proper it will not give us the good decision support making system right so data interpretation manipulation geographic analysis is very important and finally using this all we are going to make the results out of it so there are a variety of different ways in which information can be presented. So that is maps, satellite images, photographs which shows you the differences that is temporal analysis can also be shown to you. Future prediction is derived from this technology. As you all know, MW 2021 is predicted by AUDA and AMC. Similarly, for MW 2030 and 2031 is also predicted using this software only. And you can make it out that special which area is extending right now and development is taking place. But how you can do that? Again, the question comes for the data preparation. Right. So you can use it in the form of reports. Map is the primary output of the software and visual information shown in the map is very useful and you can do the past and future prediction and the modeling, preparing all the data very accurately and looking into the all these principles of GIS. It is very useful in the field of civil engineering. Now, with this all examples and understanding, I guess you are clear with the principles of GIS. Thank you.